welcome back to my channel long time no see so we're just gonna get straight into it have you guys watched me struggle so originally i attempted to get blue hair out of this obviously as you saw from the beginning my hair ended up red so just showing you what i used a bunch of nonsense so i had some purple hair dye by kiss some indigo hair dye by kiss showing you all the stuff that i bought didn't really need any of it but what I'm going to do now, thinking that I'm a professional, which I'm obviously not. If you see on my iPad, I am watching my favorite movie ever, which is Marie Antoinette with Kirsten Dunst. If you haven't watched it, make sure you watch it. It's on Netflix. Netflix, if you want to sponsor me for that little shout out, feel free. Got bills to pay. But right now, I just brushed out my hair, parting out pieces to try and make the dye job. That's still not going to work out. work out better. So this wig is actually super old. I've had it now for two years, just about. So as you can see, the cap is ripping, looks real raggedy. Um, my friend, Kashmir, actually made it for me and I'll insert her Instagram handle below, Hustler Hair Wig. So considering that this is falling apart and I never actually got her to do maintenance, it's really held up pretty well. The hair is from D Hair Boutique and the frontals from like AliExpress. I don't really remember where, but Right now, I put the purple dye in one container. I put some black dye in another because I wanted it to be blue, but not like super, super blue because I do work. And here, of course, a struggle. Putting the dye in for maybe like two hours, and then I was like, well, nothing happened. So I actually went the next day, or a couple hours later, actually, tried to bleach it so i was like okay let me try and bleach it maybe i can do like a impromptu watercolor or something i don't really know at this point i was desperate it was a day off from work and i just wanted i was having a little quarter life crisis and just wanted my hair to look cool so here am i here i am just bleaching my hair for no reason um so yeah we can just watch me continue to waste my time This is also a shot in my new apartment. I did recently move to Memphis. Um, Memphis sucks, but moved to Memphis for a new job post college. Good thing about Memphis is my bathroom. My bathroom is gigantic, so you can see the counter space. But here I am putting the hair dye in the water as if it's going to do anything. Wasting more of my time and efforts and money. As you see in the back, the empty glass of wine, because it was really stressing me out doing all of this. So I went ahead and just submerged the wig in there. I did bleach it thinking that the parts that I did bleach, I didn't bleach it to a platinum blonde, but I did bleach it to get lighter. So I thought maybe it was going to help. And then you see me the next day, new sweatshirt, same bathroom, got my nails done. And we're going to be using the L'Oreal highlights and... Just going with that because I was tired, but I did want my hair to look different. This was actually a lot easier. I actually saw this product first on Sophieology's channel. She always has like really good hair colors. Um, if you can get through some of her videos, you can see all the hair colors that she's done. She's done a blue. She's done red like this. And she's also like the queen of blonde. But here I am just pouring the product. So what I did, I got... Uh, two cabaret reds I'll put it in the description box but two cabaret reds and one like fire hot or red hot red um, again I didn't want it to be too too bright but I did want it to show not like crazy because I do have a management job so I didn't want everyone to look at me crazy so just pouring the product so I ended up okay, I got I was actually very prepared this time I got a little little squeezy tube thingy i got the little whisk like i was not gonna play myself today as i played yesterday which shout out to the lady at the beauty supply store that told me that it was gonna work with the blue dye and i didn't need anything else because i did ask her about a permanent blue hair dye and if i should get that and she's like oh no no you don't need that lies but you know she got my 40 dollars. it's okay i guess it's holiday times so, like she can keep it but i took my little butt to sally's and got this stuff that actually did work so I just put two boxes of the cabaret, or actually, rather, I put 
one side was just a cabaret red which is like the dark, dark plummy red and then i mixed the cabaret red and the red hot in the other side and this mixed out with developers so i'm just whisking it with this hair color whisk that i also got from sally's thinking i was doing something but you know look it's the colors coming through and everything i was pretty pleased with how the product mixed and came out everything was super easy it was super user friendly especially because this is technically professional hair dye so i was scared that i was gonna completely mess up like i had done with the blue the day before but what i'm just gonna do is just kind of mix the colors as i apply it onto the hair because i want it to have like low lights and highlights so I'll put a bunch of like the cabaret on one area, starting at the roots, and then add some of the red hot, and just keep moving like that. And I ended up like mixing it, getting a little fancy. Super easy. I used a brush to kind of help and make sure all the strands were well, well covered with the product. And that's just really what I did. So we'll just watch me paint this hair does come out really cute as you saw in the thumbnail so I actually even with the thumbnail um that was after I colored it the first time it did come out more purplish I wanted it to be a little bit more red so I did end up um if you watch Sophiology's video she did end up bleaching the hair a little bit to bring the color out more um she did add an additional box dye on top I haven't done that yet because I was lazy and didn't feel like spending any more money on this pretty old wig but if I do see that the color starts turning a different color I'll probably get some of that box dye to bring the color out some more but so far it's been good I've had the color on my wig now for maybe like two weeks and I haven't seen it fade or anything the hair actually kept up for it being already two years old like it's it's dry I'm not gonna lie but I've had the hair for two years um it still moves really nicely, it still curls nicely, straightens nicely, it's just dry, so I just have to deep condition it more often, but the dye didn't damage the hair. Probably was from when I bleached it before getting the red dye that's probably making it super dry, so I'm pretty happy with the results and how everything turned out, but yeah, I just went through, tried to mix it in so as like the light hit the wig, it would have like different dimensions to the color, but it wasn't really an exact science because no one else that I saw use this really did an exact science. So after I washed it, conditioned it, this is what it looks like. So you can see the color did take. So I'm gonna take this generic blowout spray, which is supposed to be like the Kenra blood spray. And this was really a really good product. I sprayed it on there and I was actually kind of appalled because I was wondering if it was going to mess up the hair but I kept using it anyway because I didn't have time to wait I also had to go out to my friend's birthday dinner which was like an hour and a half after this so I needed to get my life together so here I am the sectioning the hair and then spraying the product on there again worked really well so I'm wondering what type of chemicals are in here but I guess it's a wig so I won't use this on my actual hair because I'm a little it's a little weird to me, but, and then I'm not good at using, I'm going to try and use like the barrel comb to blow dry this hair later, but I'm not very good at it. So I do have my little blow dry pick. And as you can see, like this is in actual real time. So this is an actual real time, say for like a minute or two of footage. And you can see the hair is literally drying so quickly. Like I think this whole process maybe took me... 15 20 minutes like not long ago at all usually i have to like i did let the wig chill out for like 30 minutes before i did go blow to blow drying it so that might have helped as well as you can see my wig head stand is very haphazardly on my counter i actually hate this wig head stand like it doesn't stay as you can see i have to put the towel on to keep the wig head even on the stoke that's there or the spike or whatever you want to call it super dumb so i did ask for one of the tripod wig heads for christmas because i was done with this kept flying off and then here my comb flew off which is to be expected with the comb but or the blow dry pick but yeah do not recommend the countertop little grabby ones wig head things i don't even know what i'm trying to say right now but it's up so that's all you need to know 
But yeah, so the hair is all dry. I take some time to try and get like in the cap because the hair is dry, but the actual cap is still like damp and I don't want to put it on my hair. Memphis is not as cold as where I'm originally from, like Baltimore, Maryland, DC area, DMV area. So it's not as cold, but it is rainy and gross. So I didn't want like just my actual hair to get musty from the wig. So I did take some time to tr try and dry the cap. I think I got it probably like 90% dry before I put it on. So it wasn't too shabby. So here I am trying to use the blowout brush. I put some bio silk in the hair. It did add like a little body, I won't lie, but I'm sure if I had more than like the time that I was trying to fit all of this into, I'd probably be able to work on this better. But it did add some body to the hair. I just did it like pretty roughly throughout the hair just to try and get it to be a little bit fluffier. Because as I said, this wig is old, so, you know, with old wigs, the hair tries to clump together, which this doesn't really do that much, but I just wanted to try and prevent it as much as possible. And then this is the finished result or a semi-finished result. My hair did come out a little bit more red after I bleached it a little bit, but it looks super cute. I love the way it looked, adding a little bit of color, but not too much. Honestly, my life was in shambles doing this, so all this little posy posy stuff I'm doing, I'm also already 40 minutes late for where I'm supposed to go, but thank you for watching. I hope everything is well. I hope to be making videos more often for you guys and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.